हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग दिस इज मंजुला एस असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन कॉमर्स गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज फॉर वुमेन कोलार सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंसंट्रेट ऑन कमोडिटी मार्केट चैप्टर सॉरी कमोडिटी मार्केट सब्जेक्ट इन दैट कमोडिटी एक्सचेंज इज अ टॉपिक और कॉन्सेप्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सो दैट इज फॉर फोर्थ सेम एम कॉम बैंगलोर नॉर्थ यूनिवर्सिटी Okay, we are concent. We will concentrate on commodity exchange topic of this chapter. So, commodity exchange. The eighteen existing commodity exchanges in India offering domestic contracts in eight commodities and two exchanges that have permission to conduct trading in international. That is international contracts. So that is USD denominated, US dollars denominated. so we have concentrated or we have discussed about how many co commodity exchanges are there and uh, which exchange works under what commodities so which commodities comes under what uh, which exchange so we have discussed in the previous uh, video so now uh, we have 18 existing commodity exchanges in india so 18 we have so in that eight commodities and two exchanges have permission to work with uh, us dollars okay so us dollars can be used in Two exchanges and eight commodities. The next, the two most important commodity exchanges in India are MCX, that is Multi Commodity Exchange of India Limited, and NCDX, uh, that is National Multi Commodity and Derivatives Exchange of India, India Limited. Okay. How to trade in commodities? How to trade in commodities? So that is commodity futures, a standardized agreement to buy or sell an asset in the future at a price agreed today. So that is what the futures, what we have discussed in earlier videos also. So commodity futures are something that it is a product which is agreed to buy for the price which is agreed today and which is being sell for sell or buy for tomorrow. That is for future. सो वो इन अग्रिमेंट ऐन पर्चे से अथवा बई मोबाइल वो असेटन बट इवत प्रईज के ना फिस्कती अद प्रईज के मुद्दे दिन प्रॉडक्टन पर्चे मोबाइल अदान ना कमाडिटी फ्यूचर्स अंत करी नेक्स्ट इज कमाडिटी एक्सचेज ट्रेडेड फंड दट इस जनरली एंड इंडेक्स फंड विच ट्रैक अंडर कमाडिटी इंडिस सो इट इस इंडेक्स फंड and the stock which which can be tracked under indices so indices i think you know the various indices will be available for all the products or all the commodities next is uh, commodity stocks the which belong to commodity related sectors like metals energy agriculture etc so this is what the uh, major commodities which are traded in commodity exchange students so commodity stocks are which belongs to commodity uh, related to metals Uh, energy and agriculture next is commodity future mutual funds that is uh, which invest in stock belonging to commodity sectors or funds of funds which invest in other commodity funds also so mutual funds are something that which can be invested in stocks and which can be invested in other commodities also the investor exposure till date has been through future trading the commodity exposure through platforms like mutual funds is now gaining the ground okay uh, due to this pandemic situation all the stocks and shares are just fluctuating like anything okay so uh, this is in the before that it was a uh, good gaining ground mutual funds okay next is commodity future so we'll uh, discuss about commodity future so it is that's what we have already discussed it is a standard agreement to buy or sell an asset in the future at a price agreed today and the buyers use such contracts to avoid the risk associated with the price fluctuations of the futures underlying product of or raw material so yaake future contract ke janru concentrate maartare antandre because namu gottide मुद्दे दिन आ प्रईज फ्लक्चुशन जास्ती आगते अब मेटालिटी अथवा अब अजम्शन मेले नावेमती प्रॉडक्टन अग्रिमेंट मू ना आ प्रॉडक्टन बै मे सामान्यू अडवां को कॉन्सेप्ट गे सो ये वो प्रॉडक्टन तक मुंचे नहींती अथवा फॉर् एक्सापल गोल इको गोल पर्चे मोवेमती होगी तक वो प्रॉडक्टन आर्डर मातीर आर्डर मोहंत समय अग्रिमेंट सारी अडवांस को सो अडवांस को 
ನೀವು ಏನು ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ಗೆ ಏನು ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸನ್ನ ಕೊಡ್ತೀರಲ್ಲೋ ಆ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸು ಆ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ಗೇ ಸೀಮಿತ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಆ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ನಿಮಗೆ ಒಂದು ವಾರ ಕಳೆದು ಬರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಹದಿನೈದು ದಿನ ಕಳೆದು ಬರ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಆ ಸಮಯಕ್ಕೆ ಗೋಲ್ಡಿನ ರೇಟಲ್ಲಿ ವೇರಿಯೇಷನ್ಸು ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಇದ್ದರೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿನೂ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಒಂದು ನೂರು ಐನೂರು ಕಡಿಮೆನೂ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಬಟ್ ನೀವು ಇವತ್ತು ಏನು ಅಗ್ರಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಥವಾ ಏನು ನೀವು ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ತೀರಲ್ಲ ಆವತ್ತಿನ ರೇಟೇ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಹದಿನೈದು ದಿನ ಆದ್ರೂ ಅದೇ ರೇಟ್ಗೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಆ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಈ ಥರ ನಾವು ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ವಿಷಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇವತ್ತು ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ ಕೊಟ್ಬಿಟ್ರೆ ನಮಗೆ ನಾಳೆ ಆಗುವಂಥ ರೈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೈಸಸ್ನ ಅವಾಯ್ಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೋದು ಅಂದರೆ ಆ ರಿಸ್ಕನ್ನು ನೀವು ಅವಾಯ್ಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದು ಕಾರಣಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಈ ಥರ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸನ್ನು ಕೊಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಇನ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಕಮಾಡಿಟೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅವಾಯ್ಡ್ ದ ರಿಸ್ಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲಕ್ಚುಯೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಫ್ಲಕ್ಚುಯೇಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೆಲ್ಲರ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ಲಾಕ್ ಗ್ಯಾರಂಟೀಡ್ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೇರ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ನೋಸ್ ದಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಆನ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಕಮಾಡಿಟೀಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಯೂಸಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೆಮ್ ಇವಾಗ ನಾವು ಯಾವುದೋ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಗೆ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಆಗಿ ನಾವು ಅದನ್ನು ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂತಂದಾಗ ಇವತ್ತೇ ಪ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಅಥವಾ ಇವತ್ತೇ ಅದನ್ನು ಲಾಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ತಪ್ಪೇನಿಲ್ಲ ಓಕೆ ಹೌದು ತಾನೆ ಈಗ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಡೈಲಿ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡೈಲಿ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಹೌದಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ಪೇಸ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಬ್ರಷ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಈ ಥರ ಏನಿರುತ್ತೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಸೋಪ್ಸ್ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಏನಿದ್ದಾವೆ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಡೈಲಿ ರೊಟೀನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಈ ಥರ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ನ ನಾವು ಬಲ್ಕಾಗಿ ತೊಗೊಂಬಂದರೂ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ವಿ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ಇಶ್ಯೂ ವಿತ್ ದಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಅದೇ ಥರ ಇಲ್ಲೂ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಸೆಲ್ಲರ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ಲಾಕ್ ಲಾಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾರೆ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಗ್ಯಾರಂಟಿ ಇವತ್ತು ಏನು ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಇದೆ ಇದು ರೀಸನಬಲ್ ಇದೆ ಅಥವಾ ಇದು ಓಕೆ ಅಥವಾ ಇದು ಅಫೋರ್ಡಬಲ್ ಅಂತ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಅನಿಸಿದಾಗ ಅವ್ರೇನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಆ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟನ್ನು ಲಾಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾರೆ ಆ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಗೆ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಆರ್ ಬೈ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇ ಟಿ ಎಫ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕಮಾಡಿಟಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಚೇಂಜ್ ಟ್ರೇಡೆಡ್ ಫಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಜನರಲಿ ಆನ್ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ಫಂಡ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ ಕಮಾಡಿಟಿ ಇಂಡೆಸಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಚೇಂಜ್ ಟ್ರೇಡೆಡ್ ಫಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಕಮಾಡಿಟೀಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಆಸ್ ಅಗ್ರಿಕಲ್ಚರಲ್ ಗೂಡ್ಸ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೀಷಿಯಸ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಇ ಟಿ ಎಫ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರೇಡೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಕಮಾ ಲೈಕ್ ಅಗ್ರಿಕಲ್ಚರಲ್ ಗೂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಗ್ರಿಕಲ್ಚರಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀಷಿಯಸ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೀಷಿಯಸ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಲೈಕ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಪ್ಲಾಟಿನಮ್ ಸಿಲ್ವರ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಈ ಥರದ ಪ್ರೀಷಿಯಸ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಮತ್ತು ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸ್ ನಿಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತೇ ಇದೆ ಬೇರೆ ಅದರ್ ಮಿನರಲ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲಾಗಿ ಸಿಗೋದು ರಿನ್ಯೂವೇಬಲ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ನಾನ್ ರಿನ್ಯೂವೇಬಲ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಏನೇನಿದೆ ಅವೆಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಅಂತಲೇ ತೊಗೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಅಗ್ರಿಕಲ್ಚರಲ್ ಗೂಡ್ಸ್ ನಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತೇ ಇದೆ ಕಮಾಡಿಟೀಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಗ್ರೋ ಅದು ಕಾಡಲ್ಲಾಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಅದು ನಾವೇ ಬೆಳೆಸೋದಾಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಮತ್ತು ಪ್ರೀಷಿಯಸ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಕಮಾಡಿಟೀಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರೇಡೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಕಮಾಡಿಟಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಚೇಂಜ್ ಟ್ರೇಡೆಡ್ ಫಂಡ್ಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕಮಾಡಿಟಿ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ ಟು ಕಮಾಡಿಟಿ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಸೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಲೈಕ್
so ncdx concentrate or uh, facilitates trading of 57 commodities which includes all these commodities okay so ee kelagina ella metals athwa ella energy agriculture commodities so plastics ivella en idave idr jothege 57 andre idr nolagonda 57 commodities na ee ncdx so, uh, trade madutte okay na so this is a brief uh, in the information about the uh, particular uh, institutions or particular association or particular exchange with the uh, domain and share of that percentage okay so institution it is a nabard it has a share of 15 percent and the domain is apex bank for agricultural lending okay then icici bank it has eight percent share of largest private sector bank in india listed on nyse so what is icic it is the largest private sector bank in india listed on nyse okay nsc this is you know it is a stock exchange so it, it is also have 15 percent share in this uh, commodity exchange so which is what is nsc it is the largest stock exchange in india it has highest volume in single stock futures in the world okay so it concentrate more on single stock futures okay or in in the world then lic this is also we know it is the largest life insurance company in india and it has share of 15 percent okay next chrysal so it is a largest credit rating agency and now it is now a standard and uh, for a standard and poor company and it has 12% share in this commodity exchange. You know IFCO, IFCO it is the largest farmer cooperative with an affiliation of 36,000 cooperative societies including in this and it has share of 12% and PNB that is Punjab National Bank it has largest uh, sorry public sector bank with the strong rural reach especially in North India. You know, Punjab National Bank is a bank which has oh, in which has established in all the rural uh, areas of the North India. Even we too have that. Uh, so it has share of eight percent. And Canara Bank, it is also a largest private sector bank and strong rural reach, especially in South India. Even ICICI Bank also we have. So in various areas we can see this uh, uh, Canara Bank. So it has eight percent of share. And uh, this uh, Goldman Sachs, it is a, it is of uh, seven percent. That is global expertise in commodity market. It is totally global expertise in commodity market. Okay, I hope you understood with these concepts. Next, MCX, that is Multi Commodity Exchange of india limited it is an independent and demutualized exchange with a permanent recognition from government of india so it is multi commodity exchange it is an undertaking of government it is an independent and it has a demutualized ex exchange which has permanent recognition it is permanent recognition of commodity exchange the key so then we'll discuss who are the shareholders the key shareholders of this mx mcx are financial technologies india Pri india limited State Bank of India, Union Bank of India, Bank of India and Canara Bank. So these are the key shareholders of this MCX. So yeah, these are all the banks which comes under or which acts as a shareholders for this MCX. Okay. And it has started offering trade in 2003 of November and has built strat strategic alliances with Bombay Bullion Association, Bombay Metal Exchange, Solvent Extractors, Association of India, Pulses Importers Association and Shetkari uh, Sangatana. Okay, so MCX, it was started established in 2003, that is November. It has a alliance with Bombay Bullion Exchange or Association, you know about that. And uh, bullions are being traded in this. And uh, Metal Exchange, Bombay Metal Exchange, their metals are traded. And Solvent Extractors Association of India pulses exporters so pulses exporters is related to pulse and association uh, exporter association shetkari sangatara so this is also related to agricultural commodities next is nmce this is national multi commodity exchange of india limited it is a first demutualized electric electronic multi commodities exchange in india 
So National Multi Commodity Exchange, it is the first demutualized electronic multi commodity exchange. In so demutualized in the sense it is a uh, it is owned by its members and it can be changed to the other uh, kind of ownership also that is demutualized. So one the uh, product at one ownership in the in one ownership gathana change mad on the now demutualized and the creative. It is an electronic multi commodity exchange in India. And on 25th July 2001, it was granted approval by the government to organize trading in the edible oil com complex. So, it is in 2001, it took the approval by the government to organize the edible oil. Edible oil uh, na exchange maad July 2001 nalli government in the ke approval, grant and approval maad koldu. It has operationalized from November 26, 2002. So it has started the approval, uh, took approval in 2001 and it has started working in 2002 of November. It is being supported by Central Warehousing Corporation Limited, Gujarat State Agricultural Marketing Board and Neptune Overseas Limited. So these are the uh, associations or these are the ex companies which have supported to this NMC that is Central Warehousing Corporation Limited. Gujarat State Agricultural Marketing Board and Neptune Overseas Limited. Okay. So next is spot trading. So at a glance, I have discussed in the previous slides or previous video. So now we will talk about this. So spot trading is any transaction where delivery either takes place immediately or with a minimum lag between the trade and delivery due to technical constraints. So spot trading we have discussed is it is a trade which takes place immediately at the spot okay uh, or with some sort of minimum lag uh, spot ali alle now buying and selling like for example now mado ella products purchase spot purchase hotane market go tv duduna kodtivi product na purchase maadi tagon bartivi so that is also called as spot trading okay adhe tara now shares na matte stocks na purchase madoga to commodity exchange allu no spot purchase irtave spot purchase ali uh, trading and immediate agogi our products na immediate delivery to come with well other now spot trading at the correctly or certain kadime anthra the lead delivery in a toggle on the kadime anthra the other yaki a kadime anthra either due to some technical constraints yeah the other technical constraints either a matra sanna pramada the anthra the lead now our product na delivery to all good and uh, spot trading normally involves visual inspection of commodity or a sample of the commodity and it is carried out in markets such as wholesale market. So this is spot trading is very much uh, uh, resembled to our market as we act. When you go to a APMC, you see that bulk uh, products will be available, vegetables, fruits, everything will be available. So there you see that. Physically, you see the product, you watch the product, you just uh, uh, touch the product, either it is uh, fresh or good in condition or not. And then if you like with that product, uh, definitely you will take a delivery of that particular product with some wholesale, uh, with some uh, bulk or less or whatever it is. Okay. So, now in Marathi, we have a lot of products, and 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 so again you can purchase more so then also it can be used for wholesale markets also whatever it is when you do the trading spot trading is being done okay next commodity markets on the other hand require the existence of agreed standards so that trades can be made without visual inspection so there are certain uh, uh, commodities even you cannot do visual inspection visual inspection means which you couldn't see and purchase okay only through online you can even online online uh, marketing you will do martirala so madwaga i think you will not visual you will not see the product physically just through a phone or a laptop or a system and that is electronically you see the product you watch the product and you order the product okay then you will get the product. Either it may resemble to the same or it may change also. Am I clear students? So that is what commodity exchange. It requires an agreed standards. Because many of our products we couldn't, we will purchase without visual uh, inspection. You know many online uh, uh, 
shopping uh, uh, this apps are there okay so all the shopping apps will not work in the same way we will trust on some of the app, apps online apps in there so our uh, online apps in now particular select mark or the other mail namke namke that band our product band mail no uh, we feel that it is it resembles the same what i ordered nim ganisutte nan order madirodakku a product bandirodakku sari ide ant anustaga ade shopping idralli nim matte continue maarkondu hogtira nim shopping na artha aagtidya so aa tara it aa tara visual uh, inspection illde na purchase madodakku we should have some agreed standards irbekadralli anta because not it is not been maintained by all the apps okay next forward contract forward contract or simply a forward is an agreement between uh, two parties to buy or sell an asset at a certain future time for a certain price agreed so this is what a forward contract okay it is an agreement between two parties to buy or sell for a certain future time okay it is for certain future time for a certain price agreed ee agree maarkondiranta price ge future time alli aa products na purchase maaduvantaddu so adanna nave enanta karithivi future time or uh, forward contract anta it costs nothing to enter a forward contract the party agreeing to buy the underlying asset in the future assumes a long position and the party agreeing to sell the asset in the future assumes a short position okay so here there is there will be a two parties one is seller and one is buyer so who agrees to buy the asset in the future so who, who has to work out for a long position and the per, party who sells the product or sells the uh, few uh, commodity in the future assumes a short uh, position okay who wants to buy he has to wait for till the time comes see for example when you want to per, when you want to buy a mango so you will go to a farm or you will go to a um, field and you will uh, take a what you call uh, a contract an agreement that whatever the yield it comes this year you should give to me so you, you know about lease iga en martare kelu kade maavun annagalanna totagalalle hogi aa lease anat maarko lease na tagoltare en lease andre gothagutala like hannu barodikkinta munchene hoogli iro time alle ne purchase maabidodu ee 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 bandiruvanta ee maragalalle baruvanta yield ellano nanige kodbeku annodu artha aagidya so seller immediate ag sale maadibidtane yes yeah, agreed tagoli idana ee product na ee ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೋ ಈಲ್ಡ್ ನಿಮಗೆ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ ತಗೊಂಡ್ಬಿಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆ ಸೆಲ್ಲರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಿನಿಶ್ಡ್ ಮುಗಿದೋಯ್ತು ಸೆಲ್ಲರ್ ವರ್ಕು ಆ ಈ ಆ ಬರೋ ಈಲ್ಡ್ಗೆ ಅವರೇ ಜವಾಬ್ದಾರರು ಅಂತ ಈ ವಿಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಅನ್ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ ಬಂದುಬಿಟ್ಟಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅದಾದ ನಂತರ ಈಲ್ಡ್ ಬಂದಾದಮೇಲೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಡೆಲಿವರಿ ತೊಗೊಂಡಾದಮೇಲೆ ಉಳಿದಂಥ ಅಮೌಂಟನ್ನ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಯ್ಯರ್ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ನೋಡಿ ಈಲ್ಡ್ ತಗೊಳ್ಳೋಂಥ ಬಯ್ಯರ್ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ಈ ಶುಡ್ ವೆಯ್ಟ್ ಟಿಲ್ ದ ಈಲ್ಡ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ವೆನ್ ದೇರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಫ್ಲಾರ್ಸ್ ಹೂಗಳಿರೋ ಸಮಯದಲ್ಲೇ ಆತ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ನ ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಬಟ್ ಆತ ವೆಯ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಯಾವಾಗ ಟಿಲ್ ಹಣ್ಣಾಗೋ ತನಕ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗ್ತಿದ್ದೆ ನಾನು ಅಂದರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಯ್ಯರ್ಗೆ ಲಾಂಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೆಲ್ಲರ್ಗೆ ತುಂಬ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಮ್ ಐ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಅಗ್ರೀಡ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ದ ಡೆಲಿವರಿ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಅಗ್ರೀಡ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅ ಡೆಲಿವರಿ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಡೆಲಿವರಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ which is equal to the forward pricing at the time the contract is entered into and whatever the contract we have entered it is just bit uh, related to future contract also okay but till enagutte ee forward price uh, delivery aguvaga price en irutho adhe price ne now kot tagoltivi but it should be equal to the pricing at the time of contract enter contract enter aguvaga yen price na now fix martivalla adhe price ge now equal agi delivery price na kodbeku okay so next future contract it ref- in refers to a standardized contract to buy or sell a specified commodity of standardized quality at a certain date in the futures at the market determined price so that is what a future contract it is a standardized contract to buy or sell a specified commodity with standardized quality in certain at certain date in the future so standardized product to a quality specified commodity ಒಂದು ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡೈಸ್ಡ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಒಂದು ಉನ್ನತವಾದ ಅಥವಾ ಒಂದು ನಿರ್ದಿಷ್ಟವಾದ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟು ಅದರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಒಂದು ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಡೇಟು ಇನ್ ದ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ನ ನಾವು ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಅದು ಡಿಟರ್ಮೈಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿ
instantaneous equilibrium between the forces of supply and demand among competing buy and sell orders on an exchange at the time of the purchase or sale of the contract so here the future contracts will be concentrated on the equilibrium between the supply and demand okay a supply matte demand enide adara equilibrium alli ee future contract irutte okay so yake antandre you know that they, if at all there will be a more demand is supply is less then automatically the price of a product rises clear so agiruvaga nam samare gold vishike barana gold vishidalli nam advance kottidivi for example 5000 gram irutte Uh, after 15 days, if there is a rise of around uh, 2 to 3, 2,000 per gram, okay, on the 15 days, that's one month, two to, two, at least 1,000 per gram rise, if at all we ordered uh, 100 grams product, so there might increase, uh, lots of increase in the price of the gold. So, what is the price of the gold? So, if you have a gold or you have a gold or you have a gold, we will not bother. It is totally this much increase. And also, you have given less amount of advance. So, kindly, you make an arrangement of increasing your uh, price rate also. Because even I, we too have uh, experienced this thing. So, there is a drastic change. ಆಟೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕಾಗಿ ನಾವೇನು ಮಾಡಿಬಿಡ್ತೀವಿ ಆ ಸಮಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಮತ್ತು ಡಿಮ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಈಕ್ವಲಿಬ್ರಿಯಮ್ ಮಾಡೋ ಥರ ಆ ಪ್ರೈಸನ್ನು ನಾವು ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತೀವಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಮ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಕಾಂಪಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಬೈ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಚೇಂಜ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸೇಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ಸೇಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟಲ್ಲಿ ಬರುವಂಥ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಯಾವುದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಮ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ okay futures are using for hedging okay hedging particularly in a bear market okay futures are to totally a hedging fund that is what i told you hedging in the sense uh, uh, investment will be made by the clients and it can be used for alternative investment also and uh, futures are exchange traded derivatives exchange traded derived so derivatives in the sense it is a commodity so it it is a commodities which is been exchanged for the futures and next is the particular asset as well as the quantity are specified in the future contract so here in this contract the asset is also specified as well as the quantity is also specified this is normal in all the uh, products also and next is the currency in which the contract is to be executed is also specified in the future contract you know that the we are we have various forms of currencies you can use in the contracts in the commodity exchange right so here you have to specify which is the currency that is being involved or executed in this particular or in this specified future contract that has to be specified so yava currency na nee will include maadkondidira athwa yava currency alli nee illi vyavahara exchange maartta idira anodru kuda no specify maadbeku product specify maadbeku quantity specify maadbeku adar nantra yava currency alli naavu ee contract na maartta idivi anodru kuda specify maadbeku okay next continuation futures have lower transaction cost than other debt instruments so futures have lower transaction cost so compared to other debt instruments or debt contracts or uh, uh, pro- commodities this have lower transaction cost okay future contracts have high liquidity since buyers and sellers of future contracts can be found easily so here the high liquidity will be there uh, since the contracts that is sellers and buyers have been found easily so ee future contracts alli namge sellers matte buyers easy aagi sigodrinda adu jothege avaru easy aagi contract alli involve agodrinda namge enu agirutte idu highly liquidity irutte ee contracts alli and futures are highly standardized compared to other contracts futures are highly standardized then settlement the delivery month and the last trading date are also mentioned in the contract so here while settling the contract the delivery month the month in which the goods are delivered and the last trading date of that particular uh, uh, transaction also mentioned in the contract okay so for okay. that one that's why it is a standard contract next we will discuss about the forwards versus futures so what is the difference between forwards versus the futures 
while futures and forward contracts are both contracts to deliver an asset on a future date at a pre-arranged price they are different in different respects so both have the same concept same aspects or same uh, work job like it delivers the asset on the future date it delivers the assets on the future date at a pre-arranged price modale fix model on the price yeah mundin dinagala let goods na deliver model on the then now future of the forward yellow yellow loon can on the same guna okay but kill one the wish you really I will bear a bear it oh yeah and then futures are margined while forwards are not okay every day to a daily spot price of the for forward will be with the same agreed upon agreed price upon delivery price and underlying assets so here the margin will be done for every day it is margined daily okay but the prior forwards are not okay so because the daily we will concentrate on a spot price for the particular contract then the forward price contract sorry forward contracts are private agreements and future contracts are clearing houses so here private agreement in the sense that is a that a party may default on its side of the agreement so he is a default on his side of the agreement so here the forward contracts have the private agreement and the future contracts have uh, clearing houses so clearing houses in the sense the future contract transactions are, are drastically lowers the probability of default at almost never so here here no uh, defaults will be there in the future contracts because it is done in the clearing houses but in forward contracts we can find the defaults because it is acted in the private agreements okay so private agreements will be done because there the party may default on his agreement so he agreementally default on both the party but he clearing houses only are on the default to erode illa for for forward contracts settlement of the contract occurs at the end of the contract okay so for forward contract that settlement of the contracts uh, may will be done at the end of the contract but in the future contracts are marked to market daily which means that daily changes are settled daily day by day until the end of the contract so here uh, forward contracts in agata the settlement will be done at the end of the contract so whatever the uh, act, uh, activities are been done so will be done for the end of the contract so forward ali enagutte ga maavin ka example kottaga nanu andre hannu kai baro tankanu aa poorthi settlement mugiyodilla andre adu advance ashte irutte hannu kai banda admele adu poorthi settlement irutte because sometimes some natural calamities may happens aadaga which uncertainties enadru aadaga adu totally maragalinda ella hogulu hogibuttu yenu yield e siglilla anno samayadalli it will be a loss for a buyer right at that time he cannot uh, give the agree, uh, agreed contract price to the buyer or to the seller so at that particular point of time so for that sake uh, it will be settled at the end of the contract but in future contracts it is marked to market daily mm, that means uh, daily changes can happens because like gold okay daily changes may happens and it will be settled at the end of the contract so uh, so day by day settlement agi but a uh, poorthi amount settle agodu end of the contract okay so next is continuation of it future contracts are quite frequently employed by speculators on the other hand forward contracts are mostly used by hedgers okay who are speculators so speculators are a person who invest in stock in hope of the profit so every speculators you know who will invest for the hope of profit so hedger is an individual who uh, that uh, buys or sells with the actual physical commodity so hedgers uh, will be a person or an individual or a firm who buys or sells the actual physical commodity okay so future contracts so will be employed by speculators future contracts yaran na employ maadkondirutte speculators mulaka but the forward contracts yavudu antandre by hedgers aita hedgers en maartare buy and sell with the actual enantira physical commodity futures are exchange traded while forwards are traded over the counter futures are exchange traded so futures will be traded out 
ಬಟ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರೇಡೆಡ್ ಓವರ್ ದ ಕೌಂಟರ್ ಸೊ ಕೌಂಟರಲ್ಲಿ ಟ್ರೇಡ್ ಆಗುವಂಥದ್ದು ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸು ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ಸ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಟ್ರೇಡೆಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಔಟ್ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡೈಸ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಚೇಂಜ್ ವೈಲ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಸ್ಟಮೈಸ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಎ ನಾನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಚೇಂಜ್ ಕೌಂಟರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡೈಸ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಚೇಂಜ್ ವೈಲ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಸ್ಟಮೈಸ್ಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಸ್ಟಮೈಸ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಸ್ಟಮೈಸ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಫೇಸ್ ದ ನಾನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಚೇಂಜ್ ಕೌಂಟರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅ ನಾನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಚೇಂಜ್ ಕೌಂಟರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ so i hope you have understood with the difference between futures and uh, forwards so the major actors uh, in this commodity are commodity market are speculator so speculator i have told earlier and this is a person or a individual who invest in stock for the hope of the profit okay that is called as speculator next hedger is an individual or a firm that buys or sells the actual physical commodity so he is a person who buys or sells the actual physical commodity that is hedger and broker as usual you know that he is a person who acts as an intermediary between the investor and the security exchange for the commission so he acts for a commission that he will act uh, as a individual i mean intermediary between a stock exchange and the investor is that clear so these are all the major actors in commodity market next what are the risk factors involved the changing demand supply dynamics so you know that as i have discussed in the previous thing that the demand and supply dynamics will also affects the commodity exchange uh, so changing uh, demand and supply that i have already said that demand and supply mele kelavond stu changing environment clear agutte start agutte so agagi adu ond dodda risk okay na ಅದಾದ ನಂತರ ಕ್ಲೈಮೆಟಿಕ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿ ನೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಅಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಟ್ರೇಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಮೈಟ್ ಬಿ ಲೆಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ಸಫಿಷಿಯಂಟ್ ರಾ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ರಾ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫಿ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಲೆಸ್ ಇನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯೀಸ್ ಟು ವರ್ಕ್ ಆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಆರ್ ಪವರ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಸಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ next uh, geopolitical uh, consideration this is also we know that some sort of political disturbances are also takes place in the part in the part of uh, production also even that also plays a very major like now in this pandemic situation you know that we don't have a sufficient transportation to get the raw material this is due to the uh, some sort of uh, uh, this type of uh, un, uh, climatic or uh, climatic we couldn't say this is what the emergency issues ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಅದೇ ಥರ ಕೆಲವೊಂದಷ್ಟು ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡ್ರೇಷನ್ ಅಥವಾ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ಮೆಂಟಲ್ಲೂ ರಿಸ್ಕ್ನ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ನ ಇನ್ ಟೈಮ್ಗೆ ಡೆಲಿವರ್ ಅಥವಾ ಇನ್ ಟೈಮ್ಗೆ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡೋಕೆ ಆಗದೇ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಇದು ಇದೂ ಒಂದು ಸ ಥರದ ರಿಸ್ಕ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ಡ್ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಕಮಾಡಿಟೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ಲಿ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಈಕ್ವಿಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಾಂಡ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ or the commodities which have very distinct class of assets it is largely and it is independent uh, with the equity and bond return so major we will concentrate on the returns only okay now we any invest madru any commodity exchange madru we will concentrate on investment i mean returns long term fundamentals of commodities companies appear bright given the supply demand mismatch emphasize on infrastructure development in many developing economies so long term fundamentals of uh, commodity companies uh, which applies a very bright uh, for the supply demand mismatch if, if at all some sort of uh, mismatch may happens it it totally de- uh, disturbs the uh, commodity transactions or commodity tradings okay and uh, it emphasize on infrastructure development okay it emphasize on infrastructure development in many developing economies okay it, it concentrates on uh, infrastructure development for many developing economies okay so this is what about the conclusion part so we have come to an end of this uh, chapter students uh, so i hope you have understood with the concepts and uh, whatever the doubts you have related to the concepts kindly comment me so many of uh, the students are not watching the video and not commenting i have uh, noted down all those things okay and uh, one more thing i would like to say so this is not the thing i should not repeat it again 
and uh, i hope you have understood with my words and uh, this is uh, this is the last part and we have come to end of this first chapter of uh, commodity exchange uh, subject and uh, once again i am telling you that uh, stay home uh, stay safe stay healthy follow some healthy measures okay thank you students